Hi guys! I just wanted to have a very quick chat today because I feel like I've been sort of a little bit all over the place with my videos over the past couple of months. Basically when I went to New York I filmed all my vlogs and that was amazing and I had such a good time but I then came back from New York, I was busy with work and whatever and really all that I was focused on was editing my New York vlogs. So I got into that kind of routine for you know five or six weeks. Those were the videos that I was putting up, it was my New York vlogs so I was editing them each week and putting them up. Um, and then obviously I had things like Once Upon a Time came back so I wanted to get back to my reviews of that and whatnot. But I kind of just feel like I'm out of the sort of loop of just sitting down and either filming a chatty vlog or like an out and about vlog or anything like that. I feel like I haven't done anything like that for a while and I, I don't know, I just feel like I'm a little bit all over the place. So I really just wanted to have a bit of a chat about that. I think what has sort of also happened is that I haven't really been watching as much YouTube as I'm used to, like usually I watch quite a lot of YouTube, but I feel like I haven't been watching quite as much recently and I wonder if part of that is because I'm in a bit of a rut with the content that I'm watching, not in terms of the, the sort of actual videos because everything that I'm watching I'm really loving, but I haven't really found any new channels recently so I don't know if I feel like I need a little like spark of something new to kind of help me regroup and get me back into the habit of watching more content and making a wider variety of content. Something that I've noticed that I really want to address is the fact that I don't think I have a diverse enough subscription box. So I kind of, I'm some, I sort of pride myself on in terms of like gender and equality issues and stuff being um, someone who educates myself on a lot of things and I read a lot of things and I try and watch a lot of videos on in those kind of topics but I kind of noticed when I was just by accident flicking through my subscription box recently and scrolling down that my subscription box is like 85% female which is fine because I am a girl and so I think you, you do kind of automatically find yourself migrating towards people who are, you know, recognisable for you um, in terms of that kind of thing and so a lot of the content that I watch is from female creators probably because they are the kind of people who inspire a lot of the content that I would like to make. However, I don't think that that is a particularly helpful way to educate yourself on wider sort of opinions and thought processes and things and I like to watch a lot of videos that aren't necessarily like uh, you know, a review of something or whatever, but they're more just kind of chatty discussion videos on topics that are, are of interest to people. And so I feel like having more of a male perspective would probably be quite helpful and that's something that I don't necessarily have at the moment. That doesn't mean that I'm not subscribed to any male channels because I am and the ones that I am subscribed to are great. There are quite a few of them and they're all brilliant and I really enjoy their videos. Um, but I feel like I have to try and find some new ones to subscribe to. I've also realised that 90% of my subscription box comes from the UK and the USA. Again, I think something that happens sort of naturally because English speaking channels, you find yourself going to watch them and then a lot of people will collaborate with other people from their country. So you'll see UK YouTubers collaborating with other UK YouTubers. US YouTubers doing the same thing and then there's quite I think a, a close link between British YouTubers and American YouTubers there's a lot of um, people who have become friends through things like you know playlists or collab videos or whatever um, and so I think that that then just naturally again means that you find yourself hitting the subscribe button on lots of channels that are connected to one another because the people are friends. However, that does mean that I'm missing out on a huge pool of content from across the world, from people from every country and continent, and that's definitely something that I want to address. I have subscriptions to people who are not just British or American, but it's very heavily British and American. It's like, you know, a very high percentage of the content that I watch are people from these countries. Um, and so that again is something that I would like to change. I think that it's not particularly helpful when you are maybe reading a lot of things about particular issues in different places but you're not necessarily getting that direct perspective from somebody. So I would like your recommendations right now. If you have got any favourite YouTubers who you think that I would enjoy watching their content, it can be about anything. They can be vloggers, they can be film and television related, they can be book related, they can be beauty related, they can be whatever related. Let me know in the comments down below who you would recommend that I check out. As I say, there's no kind of hard fast rules for this and please don't not mention any like female American YouTubers because I've said that I was subscribed to a lot of them. That's not the point of this really, it's just to kind of refresh my 
viewing box and give me some different people to start watching but just to kind of open up the field of videos that I'm watching I would really love your recommendations for content from across the world from channels anywhere that you really enjoy. I am looking for channels from any gender, any age, any nationality. I would just love to get some kind of new content into my subscription box to help me kind of watch, a, as I say, just a more kind of diverse range of content because I think at the moment I'm sort of stuck in a little bit of a YouTube rut and I would just like to kind of refresh that all by getting some new content in there. So leave your recommendations in the comments down below. If you think that this is a good idea and you would recommend it to other people to do, hit that like button to let me know that you've enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed this video and you would like to see more from me, I do weekly TV review videos and vlogs, um, you can hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that you're having a great week and I look forward to your recommendations. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye. Guys, I'm here at the ice rink and got some quite upsetting news. John Chesek is nowhere to be seen. And to be honest, I, have, I mean, it was